An almost 800 unit apartment complex right next to Scioto Audubon Metro Park is one step closer to becoming reality. Columbus City Council unanimously approved the change needed to move the project forward. They did this tonight. The developer and some council members call it a great idea, but Columbus and Franklin County Metro Park says otherwise. NBC4's Eric Halpern is at City Hall with the changes that are potentially on the way. Eric. Carrie, the conversation about this property went on for about an hour tonight. Right now, the property can't be used for anything. The developer says its plans would bring a lot of good to the community, but Metro Parks is concerned about how it would affect the park. The landscape at a property next to Scioto Audubon Metro Park could be changing. Monday night, City Council unanimously approving a zoning change needed to allow for a 780 unit apartment complex to be built on the site. It's not what we were looking for as Metro Parks, but you, you did hear council. They want to see both groups continue to work on this. Columbus and Franklin County Metro Parks Executive Director Tim Maloney says his biggest concern is traffic the development would create. He says it would lead to 1.5 million more trips a year on the road park goers use. Getting that many people onto a single road is always going to be a challenge. But we're willing to work with everybody just like we do every day and we've only done for 78 years. We're here to protect the parks and it's my job to speak for them. City Council Member Rob Doran says talks have been going on for six months without a traffic solution that Metro Parks was happy with. With the project moving forward, both Metro Parks and developer Zimmer Development Company say they will keep working at that. I, I can see their concern. However, we've had, uh, you know, we, we don't, you know, that's why the city of, that's why the city of Columbus, you know, makes you have traffic studies. We've hired, you know, objective experts. The city has experts and they all agree that our, you know, proposal passes with flying colors. The site is currently contaminated. Between remediation, building more housing, including 10% of it considered affordable, council members say the development brings too much to the table not to give it the green light. This isn't, as Council President talk, talked about, this is not a choice between adding housing or preserving green space. We can do both. And the expectation for me and this council is that that happens. And there are still several steps the developer has to take with the city before construction begins. And again, both sides have committed to working more on a traffic solution. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halperin, NBC4.